G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. A little update on the Matilda backpack I've been building. A couple of changes, N nothing serious, just a few little bits. Uh, makes it work better for me and part of it is permanent and parts you're able to add or take away. First of all, the Matilda backpack from Helicon 6 is the main pack and the actual pack uh, size is about 36 litres so it's not the smallest but it's not the biggest and the first things that stand out you'll probably notice is the mini med kits I've added to the back or the front whichever way you want to call it I've got my snake bite kit on one side triangular bandage oh this is the one uh, the side with the basic first aid kit in there but We've got the two of the actual compression bandages in this one for the snake bite kit and the drop there on this one yep there's the other one with the triangular bandage and a few small bits for the basic first aid kit and as you can see easy access to it all with it dropping down grab out what i want uh, i showed these before Get them back up. Next things which are on either side of the mini med kits is the Seri pouches. Now all the pouches on here are from Helicon Tex, so I don't have to get explaining that now. These I do like using in here at the moment, so I've got my bits to keep me warm. A uh, pack of tissues, I think that is in this one. Yep. This stuff I can grab when I'm walking so I don't have to go in the pack. And that's the whole idea of me setting it up the way I have. Uh, I'm still adjusting it to get it to work right. But I want stuff on the outside so I've got quick access to it, like the first aid kits. Here, if I start getting cold, I can throw this stuff on Balaclava or the next scarf to keep warm. Get some tissues to blow my nose if I need to. This side, my basic hygiene kit in there. Like I said, that's all on the outside, nice and easy to get to. And the other pack, uh, pouch, I should say, is the e, e pouch from Helicon Tex. Now this is near enough empty because I've just taken stuff out. So I have the tripod in it, but I've got my saw in there at the moment. Now this, I only use when the weather's colder normally and I need to carry more so normally this comes off so I'm still able to strap down to the side and on the side again I've got another e, e pouch from Helicon Tex and this is a two person tent and the ground sheet and that and I've just used the actual pouch to hold that and then I just did the compression strap up at the top so it's all again easy, I don't have to get inside the pack, I can just get my tent up, have it all ready if it's raining, throw the pack inside the vestibule and then empty everything inside with keeping it dry. What I normally have on my packs are the Navtel pouch from Halicon Tex. Great little pouches, this one has got my phone in at the moment. And Again, another pack of tissues in there, some charging cables, a little loop to attach your keys to. This one, I've got my car keys in there, emergency whistle. And there's some actually more webbing in there, bungee webbing, so that will hold your pens and whistles and lights and everything in its place. And on the inside of this one, I've got a pen and a 20,000 milliampere signet power block and that sits in there with space now the biggest phone I've had in here is the Samsung Note 8 you know you just had people walk into the shelter when I was filming so I had an hour down there and I thought I'll come back up here and I'll finish the video off once the plane's gone over that is 
Uh, we were on about the Navtel pouches. They're fantastic. I've got a lot of my weight in them, so it's actually got weight on the front, not all on my back. Next thing I've got on here is on the hip belt. And that's just a dump pouch, which is handy, especially for days like this, just to pick up some kindling on the way to get the fire started. Now that's everything attached on the outside. The next thing I've got, which I've seen as well, is the large EDC pouch, which goes on the internal webbing in the pack here. Let's adjust that. There we go, we've got the large EDC pouch, which attack attaches to the internal webbing here which is just above where you connect your uh, hydration so that's basically all of them that's attached to the pack but, uh, I didn't show you this other, but in here all I've got is batteries for my camera glasses case and in there I've got my head torch so I could keep my keys in there if I wanted to but handy little pouches as well now I've got two more, well technically four more but there's three different types which I wear on the outside which means I can actually use this pack for a more extended and have more convenience of where to store things, how to grab things on the go and the first one is the number chess rig now, I love this especially for the cooler weather because it helps keep you warm. In the summer here in Australia it just does get your chest a bit hot but we've got the laser cut webbing on the outside. You can see I've got my EDC torch here and I've got the two compass emergency pouches. Now these are great, they're adjustable. I've got one compass like I said there. That's the heli um, yeah the Helicontex Scout pouch. In this side, I've got my Spot Eperb. Good idea to have one of these. So as I'm walking, that's all in easy access. Uh, we do have two pockets here for the smaller stuff. I don't use them that much. And on the inside, I've got a little wallet which I'm not using at the moment. But that's a bit in this zipper here. It's a large pocket which is about this size. That's your internal pocket. You've got smaller pockets coming off there so you can organise all your gear. I've got the Scout Mark II fire kit. I've got Scout Mark One, I'd call it, fire kit. That's the pump for one of my mattresses, still in there. I've got spare pegs. I've got my light there, got the bellows for the fire. And the back here, there's a pocket for a map, which is, makes it a lot easier to be walking with it on my chest. Drop that down, see where I am on the map. And then just Velcro it back up. And nothing's going to be falling out on the floor because of the elastic, or the elastic webbing they got in here. Now the last item is this one, and not the number, but uh, I think the tags inside. To apologise, my mind went blank. I'll put it up on the screen here if I can't remember what it's called. But I've got a mesh pocket in there. I've got my electricals, almost gear. So uh, that's one in that section, just turn it around that way. That's zippered. So let's get the actual zip. Again, this is the waste pack. Or, and very, very handy. I like it, I do. So that's the charger for my camera batteries, but hopefully I won't need to use it. On this side, We've got some more pockets, 
and this set po uh, point actually pulls off completely so you can adjust what organization you've got in there I've got one of my uh, camera chest rig holders little charging point batteries cable handle charger very handy and that's made it a lot easier when I'm using my camera here this also increase the space I've got in my pack so I've just taken these two out of my pack because I carried them in I didn't wear them and I've probably got a good 10 or more litres space left in there just because I've put most of my stuff organised on the outside now and with all these extra pouches so I've moved let's say I've moved over 10 litres probably 12 and a half 15 litres to the outside so it's made this pack so much better for me so now if I wanted to I could take the side ones off and just use what's on there like I said my plan is to leave these four on permanent uh, like I, said, I could take the E and E ones off and just strap the uh, tent on the side if I wanted to or a sleeping bag or something on this side uh, we've got webbing on the bottom so it just there's so many ways you can use this pack with different pouches it, it just works out really good it does I really like it so I hope you've enjoyed this video and you can see a little bit more now what you can do with the Matilda pack from Helicon Tex. and if you have enjoyed it and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to that and select all and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care